Hi, this is Dora Michelle, and this is Makeup and Breakup Blog. And today I wanted to try out some of the products I just got recently from the December uh, basic subscription editions of BoxyCharm and Ipsy. So the first product that I want to put on my face, it's clean, so now I just want to put something to moisturize it further, is from the brand Belief. This is the True Cream and Moisturizing Balm. So I'm just going to open this real quick. Oh, it smells really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Cream. No, I probably can't. It's a bit thick. And I'm going to do just a little bit because moisturizing creams for me are hit and miss. If they're too luxurious or too thick, I don't know what it is, but I will break out. So I'm just doing a little about my face, especially around my cheekbone my cheek area here because that tends to be the most dry and here so far it's blending really well into my skin can't complain and this next product is Elemis and this is their pro collagen rose facial oil this is supposed to be an anti-aging element and it says to massage three or four drops over the face and neck anything to continue to moisturize and keep my skin looking plump and hydrated oh and there's the bottle oh it's so pretty believe it or not this is full size and it's like $39 $39 for this baby okay so oh and it smells like rose too okay because sometimes it's hit or miss Here's what it looks like. It's like one, two, three, four. So it says put three or four drops. I'm not going to go crazy. And I'm just going to massage this. Oh, so if you're not into flower scents or rose scent, this may not be for you. My skin is soaking this up like nobody's business. Neither bag, I didn't get like a primer or a foundation or a concealer for that matter. So I'm going to use uh, one of mine. This is the Maybelline Super Stay um, Concealer and in the shade 05, which is like ivory. This might be too light, but I had gotten one prior that was just a, too, a little too dark. So I just want to brighten this area here. Okay, so I put a little concealer on and touched up around here, put a little here to lay down the groundwork for the eyeshadow. What did I do with it? Oh, let me show you the eyeshadow I got. Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales, and this is the Robin Hood edition. I just think this is so pretty and so up my alley as far as the shades are concerned. I love green, I love gold, and I love earth tones, so. Mm. So this is the brush. Um, that I'm going to be trying out. I got this from my recent Ipsy subscription and this brush is the Complex Culture All Over Highlight and Powder Brush. They're saying this is a multi-use brush so you can use it not only just for highlights but also to set powder as well as to blend eyeshadow. So let's give it a test, shall we? I'm going to try to start with here which is Nottingham. Let's do a little swatch, shall we? Go in with this. I'm gonna go in with Nottingham first. And it does look like it picks up color. So I'm just gonna put that. Oh, this is a little more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. I just thought it was gonna be like a like a transparent, just put it on and it's just but not bad.
Now I'm touching this with my finger. This is the more of the shimmer one, and it feels so soft. Look at that shimmer. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna type that in here. Just to see what it gives it. This is interesting because I was expecting it to sit and really give me. But it's very, very soft. There we go. See what I mean? It's like a very understated, but it looks so pretty. I mean, this looks so pretty here. Why can't I get that on my eyes? Why? Because as I've told you in prior videos, I really don't trust swatches simply because when they're done on the arm or on the wrist or on the bone of your hand, the skin texture and tension is gonna be different there and the color is gonna distribute differently there than it will on your actual lid, which is much more delicate, the skin is, and it's much thinner. To continue finishing the look, I'm going to use the Ciate uh, Marbled Light. This is their, this is the, it's called Halo. And this is a blush. I just want you to see that. Isn't that pretty? It reminds me of another, and I'm trying to remember if it's Geller's, Laura Geller's, or MAC. It seems everybody has come out with a marbled something, and this is their marbled blush. Let's see if I can, let's see. Hmm, it does pick up. Oh, nice. Ooh. I thought this was gonna be like a subtle pink. This is not subtle. Okay, this is not so at all. You need to go light with this. And luckily, I know a way to go light with it, but it does have a shimmer to it, which I like. And the shimmer is understated. The color itself is not. So, way to go, Ciate. I like it. I just gotta go in here and take a moistened or damp sponge or beauty blender and then you just go back in and you see you just lighten that baby up a bit so it doesn't look like you got slapped on both sides of your face and the lipstick Wait. i got from ipsy is called from belle and argent so it's a beautiful like wine color It doesn't have a scent, it just smells like a regular lipstick. It doesn't have like one of those, you know, berry or fruit flavored or candy cookie scents, which is nice. It feels kind of creamy going on. It's supposed to have jojoba oil in there along with um, argan oil. So it feels like I'm using a creamy stick to put on. So you may want to use a lip liner before you put this on. But this is like a true creamy, it reminds me of those Revlon creamy lipsticks. It's like that. But I like the color. It's very cranberry-like. That's the... 
it's not, but it's not cranberry. It's another, they use another terminology for it. I'm trying to remember what word they use. It wasn't cranberry that they called the color. They called it burgundy. I don't know about you, but I had a blast trying on some of the products from the December Ipsy and Boxy Charm regular subscriptions. And I have to say, I got a decent look out of this. The only thing is, I didn't. it didn't come with some sort of a concealer or a primer, which would have been nice. But push comes to shove, you can always try to use these as your primer as well as your moisturizer, and you should be fine. Um, it didn't come with a concealer. Again, concealers and foundations are tough because everybody's has different skin tone and their undertones are different too. So you have to take both into account in order to find the perfect match for your concealer and for your foundation. And you have to take into account the season. Is it winter versus spring versus summer? Our skin color may change slightly depending on the time of year and depending on where we live. So. I would say overall, um, working together, I managed to pull together a rather decent look, I have to say. It didn't come with mascara. Oh, wait a minute, it did come with an eyeliner. What am I doing? Let's put this baby on. Yeah, Avon True Color, Glimmer Sticks Diamonds. This is their eyeliner. So maybe I should put this on top or maybe in the eye. Wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, that works, okay. I put it right on the waterline. What the heck? It works. Oh, nice. It's very festive, very different. I like. <laughs> okay, so this is my final look. What do you think? I had to add a little extra things in here because I didn't have a bronzer, didn't have foundation, didn't have concealer, didn't have like a highlighter per se. So I had to work a little bit with what I had and add a couple of my own products to this. If you're wondering what they are on the the bronzer element, I use the Balms Cosmetics Bahama Mama. Mm -hmm. And I think I believe I already said what I used for the concealer. I didn't use any foundation. Um, for the concealer, I used the Maybelline Stay, Super Stay Up Concealer in Ivory 05. Uh, what else did I use? Oh yeah, I use, for the mascara, I use the Tarte Man Eater. And I believe I used for, oh wait, and for the highlighter, the Brighten Me Up, I used uh, the brand Bitter Lace Beauty. And this was the, um, I don't know if you could see that, but I've featured it before. Um, this is uh, their highlighter inspired by the movie, The Greatest Showman, the Hugh Jackman movie about P.T. Barnum. I think this is called We Like the Stars, and I just love this. I use this sparingly. <laughs> a little goes a long way, and just look at that gorgeous sheen. Gorgeous. Mm. So I would say this is a perfect holiday look. The only thing I would need to do is just rejuge my hair and do my eyebrows. Not with the brow, I mean just to get them shaped a bit because I have some bushy growth here that I need to take care of. And it's perfect. I have the perfect holiday look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And are you subscribed to BoxyCharm, Ipsy, to both, to none? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know if maybe you might decide that you want to join one of these makeup subscription uh, boxes. Again, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And even better, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching me on my latest makeup adventure. Again, this is Dawn Michelle, and this is Makeup or Breakup Vlog. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you on my next video adventure. Take care.